Hey guys, welcome back. So today we will continue with the practical SQL book. We will solve the exercises from chapter 8. Make sure to read the chapter first and you're also going to need to execute the, uh, the SQL code that is provided in the book because we're going to use the tables created during the chapter. Now let's go and just do the first exercise. Okay, in the first one uh, we are going to so we are going to use the code from uh, a previous section in the chapter and what the exercise is asking for is saying that uh, we have the library visits which uh, we saw that library visits have declined recently in most places but we need to find the pattern in the use of technology in libraries in 2014 and 2009 uh, library survey tables we have these GP terms, the number of internet connected computers used by the public, and PITUSR, which is the user public internet computers per year, the uses. So we need to modify the code in listing 813, and we need to calculate the percent change in the sum of each column over time. And we need to watch out for negative values. Okay, so Right here I just copied the code from listing 813 which you can find in the book so this is code from the book and I'm just going to modify this one first to find the percent change in the GP terms which is the number of internet connected computers used by the public. So here we have the visits but we need to use this column GP terms. Okay, I'm going to write right here, to go right here. I'm going to select by state abbreviation. So this is the same thing. We can also use PLS09 for this one. It doesn't make any difference in our case. And now I'm just I'm not going to do the sum of visits, but I am going to do the sum of GP terms. Okay, and I'm going to call this GP terms 2014. I'm going to do the same, the sum for GP terms for 2009 and I'm going to call this GP terms 2009. Now here we are uh, calculating the percent the change in the percentage so we are doing uh, the difference between the sums divided by so the difference between the sums in 2014 to 2009 and dividing by the sum of uh, 2009 GP terms and we are casting that as a percentage uh, and so we are finding the decimal multiplying by 100 and we want to uh, cast it as and round it as a percent change so instead of visits again I'm going to do GP terms and GP terms okay GP terms again so we have done this percent change before as well so it's you should already be familiar with this type of calculation. Now, uh, of course, we're going to leave this part the same because we are performing a join, which is in this case is an inner join between the two tables, and we are renaming the tables as PLS 14 and PLS 09. And we are joining on the FCSC key. Okay but we need to watch out for the negative values but not for visits but for GP terms so let's do GP terms here and GP terms here as well and we need to group by by the state abbreviation and order by percentage change in descending order so let's run let's make sure everything else is commented so let's run this query with F5 in PG admin and you should see the percentage change in uh, compute in the yes the number of internet connected computers used by the public as you can see most in most states we see a positive percentage so we have an increase and in here we have 827 percent increase so more than eight times okay so this is for GP uh, terms. What about PIT USR, USR, which is the uses of public internet computers per year? We're going to do the same, but not for GP terms anymore, 
but for PAT US USR. So I'm going to copy the query here. Let's comment this one. Okay, now right here I am not going to do GB terms anymore, but PAT USR, which is a column. Okay, let's do the same here, 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 and the same logic applies. Okay. PATUSR and PATUSR. Okay, and we need to check for the negative values. So we only want positive or zero. I think these are all the changes we need, and if we run this, now we see again the percentage change in uh, this uh, uses of public internet computers per year. Okay. So this was the first exercise. Let's go on with the second one. Okay, now we need to. Uh, okay, so we have this column called OBEREG, which is a two digit Bureau of Economic Analysis code that classifies each library agency according to a region in the United States, such as New England, Rocky Mountains, and so on. Okay, just like we calculated the percent change in visits grouped by state, we need to do the same to group percent changes in visits by US uh, region. Okay, and we need to find in the survey documentation the meaning of each region code. And the bonus is to create a table with the OBEREG code as the primary key and the region name as text and join it so we have uh, a query to group by the region name rather than the code and that's what I will do so I will do this bonus challenge as well uh, we need to create first a table called regions and so to save us some time I've already pasted this code here Whoops. okay so uh, I am creating this table regions so I'm doing create table regions it's going to have only two columns code which is going to be a var chart 2 the uh, the two digit code it's not going to so it's going to be not null and the constraint is that code keys will be a primary key and the second column is going to be a name which is a var char and is not null now to translate these into uh, regions we're going to consult the documentation and let's see Okay, so this is, let me switch the table, okay, um, let me just give me a second to find this one, so in the data, in the documentation, as you can see, we have here the region, code, and uh, the name. So O1 is New England, then we have Mid East, and we have the Great Lakes, Plains, Southeast, Southwest, Rocky Mountains, and Far West. Eight regions in the United States. So that's why I created this table right here with uh, code and name, and I am inserting the regions there using an insert uh, statement. Okay, so I'm doing insert into regions. Code 01 is New England, 02 is Mid East, and I found this information in the uh, document. Okay, so this is just code to populate that table. Let's run this and see uh, what we get. So everything else is commented. I'm going to run this code. Okay, oh, I have already run this. So uh, let's do a select to see what we have. I'm going to do select star from regions and here we have uh, all the regions with the codes okay so now we're going to do the bonus right away so we need to uh, we need to use the code again the same code we did before but for visits so I'm going to copy and paste this right here. 
okay uh, but for visits okay so visits and let's call this again visits so it's the same join the same thing but right now we're not going to show the uh, so we're not going to group by state abbreviation but by the uh, region okay so right here I am going to uh, so where where are we grouping by we're grouping by right here for by the state abbreviation actually we're going to group by the OBE so OBEREG not by state abbreviation okay uh, we can use PLS 14 or PLS 09 let's lose let's use PLS 09 since we're going to do a join on PLS 09 so let's select the OBE OBEREG we're getting the visits we're doing a join a percent change as always but the only difference is that we are uh, grouping gro grouping by the OBEREG let's see what this gives us first okay so we only have eight rows because we have only eight regions in the United States and we have the percentage change now we don't want to show just the code but we need we want to show the name of this region so we need to perform a join with the regions table as well so on this one we're going to perform a join so let's join regions on um, so PLS 09 dot ob e -R -E -G equals to regions dot code because in the yes that's what we called it we called it code okay so we did the join here and when we select I'm not going to select the obreg code or let's leave that as well and I am going to uh, so I'm going to select better by the region name so I'm going to do regions.name okay and I am going to group by regions.name let's run this and now we don't see the code anymore but we see the name of the region so we see Rocky Mountains, New England, Plains and we see the percentage change so we added another join and uh, we are selecting the region's name not and we need to do the group by by that column as well so I think that's all that exercise 2 was asking for and we did the bonus as well okay so uh, just make sure to to uh, learn about the group by on the book and uh, refresh your joints a little bit okay let's go on with third one now uh, we need to think back about the types of joints and which type will show you all the rows in both tables including those without a match okay and, and we need to write such a query and add an is null filter in a where clause to show agencies not included in one or the other table okay so to get all uh, the rows in both tables including those without a match we need to do uh, a full uh, outer join okay so that is the thing we need to do in this case so if you remember if you do a full outer join you get all of the uh, all of the rows even if they don't match okay so let's see um, we are going to write this query right now and uh, let's let's first do the, the first part let's let's write the uh, full auto join let's copy the code like always start from uh, the code for the visits which we have right here okay and I'm going to remove the comments 
Oh, okay, we have some extra stuff here we don't need. Let's remove the group by and okay. We don't need so let's select all. So <laughs> I am going to keep very little from the original query. I'm just I'm just going to do select star from this one and join on the FCC key remove join regions okay let's run this first and see what we have okay so here we have uh, the join now in the exercise uh, we need to use a join type which will show all the rows in both the tables including those without a match so let's do a full outer join full outer join to show that okay now we have all the rows even those with null so as you can see there are some rows where uh, one table for one table we have null values and for the other we should have some values okay so these are rows where we don't have a match and this is the type of join that gives us that the full outer join now the exercise is asking you as well we need to write such a query and we need to add an is now filter in a where clause to show agencies not included in one or the other table so let's find only the rows where we don't have a match between agencies and to do that we have this full outer join and we add a where clause so and we say where uh, pls 14. Dot fsc key is now and we use an or pls 09.fscs key is now okay so find where one is now or where the other is now we want either that's why we are using or in this case let's run this oh okay we are missing something here fc FSCS okay FSCS okay let's run this again and these are the rows that we were asking for so if we see so we have uh, a match from the first table so we have a row from uh, the first table but we have all nulls for the second table for 2009 so we have an agency in 2014 but not one in 2009 and these are all rows like that. So here we ha we don't have one in 2014, but we have one in 2009. Okay, so I think that's it for this chapter. Make sure to read the book, try the exercises on your own, and then uh, maybe come here and uh, take a look at my video to learn more. Okay, guys, I'm going to close it right here. Uh, make sure to also buy the book. I'm going to put an Amazon link in the description that's how you can support the author and also support the channel if you buy from my affiliate link thanks again for watching uh, and i'll see you in the next one bye bye